What's up, everybody? So I'm replacing the map bulb LED or map bulb lights. Uh, in my 2009 GT500. This is the uh, the piece that goes up here. Um, all you have to do is take your fingers and your hands and just pull down on it from all sides, and it'll pop right out. And then there's a there's a little connector that goes in up into there. Just pu push the tab in, pull that out, and then for the actual LEDs or for the map bulb light connectors here, the wiring stuff. Just take your fingers, pull these out. They'll come right out. Same thing for the other one. Those are the bulbs right there that came out. They got some diode dynamics, LED lights. Just pop those in, line them up in the hole, get it correct. These are a little big for the the opening here, so you kind of have to wiggle them in and kind of force them just a little bit, but they pop in after you do that. Um, I would recommend too, before you get these inside of here and plug them in, that you plug in the harness again and turn them on, make sure they work. Uh, so you don't waste time doing that and then you should be good after that just wire this back up in the there and pop them back up into the little tabs there and you're all set uh, next video should be the LED or next clip I mean I'm sorry the next clip should be of me doing the trunk LED lights license plate ones and the side markers in the back and you'll get a good view of that all right thanks so here's the uh, clip of me taking out the trunk light here for my 2009 GT500. So this piece up here is connected to this, this connector, right? It fits up inside of here like this, stick it up in, and you can literally just take your fingers up in here, just pop it straight out, disconnect this wiring harness from here. The factory bulb is right there, you literally just pop it out, pop in the new one, Connect it up, make sure it works. It should be all good. All right, so for this one, guys, there's two two screws here. One right here, one right here. They're pushpin screws. Take a little tiny flathead or Phillips, unscrew them, and pop them out. Then you can just grab this by the lip here and just pull it straight down. Twist that connector out, and the bulb will be right there. And you should be good with that. The whole bulb looks like that. And then you just take it in, make sure it turns on. Oh, you fucked up! I fucking in front of me, bird. And that bumper's gonna get cut. It'll work. Ah. Your LED license plate going. Hey guys, it's another clip here today of the Diode Dynamics LED lighting. Got the two bulbs right here. So as you probably already seen, I did the license plate bulb, the trunk uh, bulb, the two map bulbs inside of the cabin. And now I'm doing the side markers here on my 2009 GT500. What I did was take a small flathead here, get it into the side underneath and just pop it out. Um, the two chaining clips inside here will pop out as well with it. Uh, what you have here is this, uh, the connector piece here that contains the, the bulb. Um, and what you want to do is just twist and turn and pull that out. Um, from there, you just pop in the new LED bulb. Uh, make sure that it turns on, obviously, uh, before you screw back the uh, connector here into the assembly. Um, and then from there, you just take it and put it back into the housing and just pop it back in. And you should be all said and done. Easy as that. All oh, this was pretty, uh, pretty quick, to be honest. Uh, really good upgrades, too. Makes the car look more modern. Get rid of that ugly yellow ambient lighting um and that's it if you have any questions drop them in the uh, comment section like and subscribe and have a great day see ya what's up everybody i got a jlt 2.0 passenger side oil catch can for my 2009 gt500 shout out to robert on the gt500 forums for selling the, this to me for a uh, pretty pretty fair price uh, it's brand new he never used it it was on the shelf um, and this has been a long time due for this car since I push it pretty hard and I'm sure there's there's oil that have that has gotten in probably into there into the manifold of the supercharger here so definitely need to get this on here um, the install for this is pulling off these tabs up here these, this is the PCB valve hose um, there's another one over here as well I don't know if you can see
see it. Uh, get your fingers in there. And pull that. And the tube itself here comes off just like that. What you do next is just grab this here, get it up, just pop it on here. You should hear it snap on. As well as doing the same thing over here. Snaps on there as well. And after you do that, it's all done. Pretty much good from there. Um, should hopefully see some stuff getting caught up in here on those wide open throttle pulls. Um, kind of just change it out or dump it out after every uh, oil change that I do regularly around every six months. Um, and it should keep the life of everything going <laughs> and keep me moving about. Um, you probably just watched the, the clips there of me installing the LEDs. Just wanted to throw this in there for anybody that was curious on how to do this. I mean, it's super self-explanatory. Um, and then you should be all set after that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.